OpenAI just launched something that could change how we use the internet forever. It's called ChatGPT Atlas, and it's not just another browser with AI features slapped on. This is a complete reimagining of what browsing the web should look like in 2025. Now, if you've been following the AI browser space, this might sound familiar. Perplexity launched their Comet browser a while back with very similar ideas, AI-powered search, side panels, contextual help, and I actually created a detailed video showing some insane use cases for Comet, which you can check out linked below. The concepts are definitely similar between the two browsers, but what sets Atlas apart is OpenAI's polish and the depth of integration with ChatGPT's capabilities. Plus, if you haven't downloaded Comet yet, I highly recommend trying it out. If you use my link in the description and make your first search inside Comet, you'll get Perplexity Pro worth $20 absolutely free. That's a pretty sweet deal, and it's a great way to experience what AI native browsing is all about before Atlas becomes available on your platform. So what makes Atlas different? Well, think about how browsers have worked for the past 20 years. You've got your tabs, your bookmarks, your URL bar, and maybe a search box. That's pretty much it. Sure, browsers got faster and shinier, but the core experience hasn't really evolved since tabs became a thing. OpenAI looked at this and asked a simple question. What if your browser could actually understand what you're trying to do? What if instead of just displaying web pages, it could help you navigate them, search through them, and even take actions for you? That's exactly what Atlas does. When you first open it, you'll see something familiar but different. There's your home screen with a search bar in the center, just like any browser, but this search bar is special. You can type in a URL like normal, or you can just have a conversation with it. Here's where it gets interesting. Let's say you remember seeing a document somewhere in your browsing history, but you can't remember exactly where it was or what it was called. In a traditional browser, you'd be stuck trying different keyword searches and hoping for the best. With Atlas, you just describe what you're looking for. Something like, find that document about core design principles I looked at last week, and it'll actually understand what you mean and find it for you. The team behind Atlas calls this browser memory, and it's constantly learning from how you use the web. The more you browse, the smarter it gets about suggesting things you might want to do next. Now, one of my favorite features is something they call side chat. Imagine you're on any website, reading an article, looking at code on GitHub, or scrolling through a product page. There's a button in the corner that says, Ask Chat GPT. Click it, and a companion panel slides in from the side. ChatGPT is now right there with you, able to see everything on that page and help you understand it. They showed an example with a code review on GitHub. The developer clicked the side chat button and asked ChatGPT to summarize what changed in a particular commit. Within seconds, it explained the code changes in plain English. Then he asked a follow-up question about whether the changes were safe enough to merge before a release. ChatGPT analyzed the code and gave an informed opinion based on what it saw. That's the kind of contextual help that can save hours of work. The search experience in Atlas is also really clever. When you search for something, you get multiple views of the results. The main tab gives you a ChatGPT-style answer with context and explanations. But if you need a more traditional search result, you can switch to tabs for web results, images, videos, or news. It's giving you the best of both worlds, AI-powered understanding and classic search engine results. Atlas also understands the context of where you are on the web. They showed an example with Gmail where someone had drafted an email. By simply highlighting the text and clicking a chat GPT button, they could ask it to clean up the language or change the tone. The edited version appeared right there in line, ready to be inserted back into the email with one click. No more copying text to chat GPT, getting the response, and pasting it back in. Everything happens right where you're working. But the real game changer is agent mode. This is where chat GPT doesn't just help you understand web pages, it actually controls your browser and takes actions on your behalf. When you activate agent mode, you'll see a little cursor appear on screen. That's chat GPT, and it can click buttons, fill out forms, navigate between tabs, and complete complex tasks. They also showed a grocery shopping example. Someone was looking at a recipe and asked what ingredients they'd need for eight people. After getting the list, they said, just order the meat and produce for me. ChatGPT kicked into agent mode, opened Instacart, searched for each ingredient, 
added them to the cart with the right quantities, and prepared the order for checkout. But importantly, it stopped before actually completing the purchase, letting the human review and confirm everything first. This is a crucial design decision. OpenAI built Atlas with safety and control in mind. Before agent mode takes any action, you get to approve it. You can choose whether ChatGPT should be logged into your accounts or not for each task. You can stop it at any time and take back control, and it only operates within your browser tabs. It can't access other files on your computer or run code outside the browser. There's also an incognito mode for when you don't want your activity remembered or used to personalize future suggestions. All the memory features are optional, and you can manage or delete memories anytime in your settings. What OpenAI has built here is genuinely innovative. This isn't just bolting ChatGPT onto an existing browser. They've rethought the entire experience from the ground up around conversational AI. The browser remembers your preferences, understands context across different websites, and can take meaningful actions to help you get things done. Atlas is available now for Mac users worldwide, and it's free for all ChatGPT users. If you want access to agent mode, you'll need a Plus or Pro subscription. Windows and mobile versions are coming soon. The team mentioned they're just getting started with Atlas. They're thinking about features like custom instructions that follow you everywhere on the web, proactive suggestions based on what you might be interested in, and an agent that gets to know you better over time. This really feels like the beginning of a new era for web browsing. For the first time in years, we're seeing genuine innovation in how we interact with the internet. Whether Atlas becomes the dominant browser or not, it's clear that this is the direction things are heading. If you want to try Atlas, head to the ChatGPT website and download it. And remember, if you're not on Mac or want to experience AI-native browsing right now, download Comet through the link in the description and make your first search inside Comet to claim your Perplexity Pro absolutely free. That's a pretty sweet deal, and it's a great way to experience what AI-native browsing is all about before Atlas becomes available on your platform. So that was all. If you want to watch a video on 11 insane use cases for Comet AI Browser, just click the video appearing on your screen.